is 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 Bale and Wales, yeah. Uh, how on earth is Bale? And, and this may be a question um, I'm going to pose out to 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 Anthony. Is like you know if we, when, when Pogba performs well for country and rubbish for Man United, um, I'll be the first to 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 to, to, to groan and moan at him and and mo- and let's say yo Pogba like yo yo what a grand brethren you know what I'm saying. But Bale gets praised in England for playing rubbish for Real Madrid and not getting picked and getting paid five. 100 G's a week but then he gets praised while Papa gets cussed off what's going on bud but anyway affinity extra affinity extra, extra. Be extra. Be extra the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are personal and do not necessarily represent the views of affinity extra Yeah, 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 guys, it's your boy here, Roger Moore from Infinite Extra Celebrating Gospel Music, A Black Origin. This may be a solo show today. Um, I'm, I'm starting to get happy trying to do these solo shows out here because, you know, um, it's really hard trying to book in with the guys them anyway still, yeah, because, you know, time and life, you know, uh, boy, some rough life rights going on there. So our prayers are going out to everyone who's finding out tough times. We had a few bereavements within the team, um, but we're here still standing and we're here to celebrate gospel music of Black Origin. But the key thing is about talking about all about foot C and this is how we do it, man. Um, now, I want to pull it off today. I've got my cup of coffee. Oh, you're charging up. Listen, guys, I was crashing before I did the show. I was like, I've been doing this show. Go for my my, 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 my my 2K walk, get my coffee, come back in here, and I'm good to go. Almost, it's almost getting it. It's, it's, it's almost transferring into my eyes, you know what I mean? And I'll be right, right on this anyway, still, yeah? But listen, guys, what a... Yo, this is international break. We've had a break from Man United. I'm sick and tired of dealing with anyway, so yeah. Actually, Young may be jumping in anyway, so he's got the details to jump into the in, in, into the into into today's show. Um, hopefully, he jumps into today's show because I know you know he's got plenty to say anyway, so yeah. But first and foremost, guys, you know I want to I want to hit things out when it comes about a bit 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 a bit, a bit about football. I'm going to go back into when I'm going to go through some of the games we've gone through. Um, and what I'm going to do is talk about um qualifiers the big games one thinking about each nation and we're, and we're going to kick it off from there anyway still yeah because i feel like I feel like this is the time and period we can talk about international football and go through it so this is the give me show this is the episode where you know i can just free to say what i'm gonna say i mean last time i did a show like this so, you know it's like uh the african nations cup and you know how i felt about it and it's just like yeah crazy but my, 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 i'm sure my uh, my friend Gemma knows that Roger can talk to himself for an hour, so he says that's a skill. So apparently, I can talk f- to myself for an hour um, about something that I'm passionate about, which is football, but also celebrating um, young footballers, up, 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 uh, people, uh, footballers of, of, of black origin. Now, or maybe we visit some of the subjects if Anthony jumps on, uh, because you know, you know, he's opinionated dude anyway. Still, yeah, but we'll, we'll get into that anyway. Still, yeah, but. Um, First and foremost, I want to, um, I want, what, what I was thinking, do you go international games or do I go, um, transfer drama, do play dramas? Who, which one, guys? Which one, which one, which one, which one? Anyway, so yeah, but listen, first and foremost, guys, you know, with Rush, the, the, the football union, um, of well, basically, Rush has totally t- messed up the whole, uh, uh, um, um, qualifiers for, for the, um, World Cup um, and has, has made a bit um, sort of postponed the game between them. But basically, Russia's kicked out, so Poland is through to the next round. So let, 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 let's let's kick off with the qualifiers, guys. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's a batch of qualifiers uh, from Europe. Yeah, let's let's hit up with the European ones, and then I'm going to go to uh, and I start talking about some of the South American nations. So we see that Italy lost one nil to Macedonia. Let's just pause. Let me take a sip of coffee. Well, that should never happen. Um, Italy, um, and, and I think Antti will best describe that. I think I'll leave it to him as the Italian expert, you know what I mean? But, but my initial thing, guys, that should never happen. They had enough chances to finish off the game. The, the professional footballers that they have in that club, and I say professional strike, uh, are players that have got the ability to score goals, they should never have ever left that team a chance to actually even have a chance 
to even win a game. Absolutely beautiful strike. And this is when people say there's a punch of strike and everything. This is the problem with international games. That you know when you get the arrogance of the England and all this business and what I said, what you have to realise is that sometimes these teams have the audacity to stay in the round, no matter how many times you've got to take opportunities. If you don't take opportunities and you've got two minutes to go, two minutes into injury time, and the man just got hits a worldly, like no one expected. Done a rumor, he could have saved that if he expected he had the skill set to do it. He never expected the guy to have a skill set, and the guy who scored. Let me just see. Let me say the boy's name because it's Trez Trezka. Trash, Kov, Trash, Kov, or something like so anyway so big up to you but anyway so yeah I, my, my tongue is is not uh, it cannot twist up them ways it's got no eastern european origins to do that anyway so yeah but listen big up big up to you my brother because you, you come through and smashed it anyway so yeah but um also what what the game that i was interested in because obviously the winners from that would play portugal now portugal is my team it's it, it's 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 my blood you know myself and Ronaldo, as you guys know um i'm from the same island uh, madeira well going back a few generations for me anyway so you never know it could be my cousin but i get i can say it without anthony being in my case yeah because he just they always go you stop making i just know my genealogy i'm just not interested in the slave side i'm just interested in the free side anyway so yeah but either way um yes i'm um, portuguese descent so I always have a good positive eye towards portugal anyway and portugal with some fandangled team when i saw the defense oh guys you know like fante and um um daniel was like oh, um that's some second rate defense you know what i'm saying out there and um they would have did did did, did, did um, win the game um three one but to be honest um turkey missed a penalty you know what I'm saying? Ilmaz missed the penalty. Um, even though he scored, he missed the penalty with five minutes to go. Oh my goodness sake. But then, you know, but I think Portugal, you know, we just don't know. I just feel like it's it, Portuguese. Yeah, you gotta understand. It's like there's something in us that we don't want to finish teams off like 25 nil. We just like to just kill them first, 2 nil, and then just relax. Let them into the game, give them a goal. Let him almost score, and then we finish off again. We just love doing that rubbish, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's just, I don't know what it is Portugal got that. And 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 Portugal got a problem coming forward anyway, so yeah, because they have got some ballers in the, in this in this team right here. I tell you the light, um, uh, let me just tell you the bench for Portugal, yeah. They bought out, uh, um, um, they, they bought out uh, Liao. We can't say, see Liao as we know who, who's playing for um, Asa Milan to play um, Octavio. But listen, they got him, they've got uh, 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 Nunes, William Cavallio didn't even get on, on the pitch. I know Bruno started that game. Um, they got, um, Oh Lord, there's, there's, there's even more players than that. You know what I'm saying? Concesau, you know, but couldn't even get in the screen. There's, there, you know, what I mean, they had a few Man City guys were, were were injured for Portugal. They've got ballers, and and it, it really. So, a question we need to ask ourselves: Has Ronaldo got a part to play here going forward? Has he? You know what I'm saying? Um, for me, once this tournament's over, Ronaldo, you need to step off, mate, because. The young Portuguese footballers are about to, to, to let off and I feel that now, um, but don't need you now. No, not so much get, get to walk up, they need that idea. But Jao Felix, you know, man could even bring on Jao Felix. Ooh, what a team. What a team. You know what I'm saying? So the guys, we got Pineda Silva in, in the first, you know, guys. Jao Matinho as well, he's coming to retirement. And there weren't no Renato Sanchez either because I think he was out suspended. So, guys, listen. Portugal's ready. Portugal is absolutely ready. Uh, 100%, man. They're, they're, they're on this thing. They're ready. And we're, and we're backing them. We're backing them. We're backing our Portuguese brothers them to come through and absolutely smash it. Now, uh, uh, nothing but love towards Portugal and, 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 and the flex there. Because I think that um, it's really, really, really important that, uh, you know, but they, they, they get this right here. Now, we do, we do the footballers. Um, a lot of people says, you know, I think that Ronaldo can only give 60 minutes. 
Uh, even for Man United, you know, I think he only gave us his team 60 minutes, 70 minutes uh, concentrating. And I think he has to let, come most, let, let, let go of his ego and get off the pitch to save his body for the next game. And it's almost in Portugal, they're too scared to take him off. He just stays on to the end. But you know what? You have to say to Ronaldo, I've seen him do it against Republic of Ireland. Even I'm going, get him off the pitch, get him off the pitch. And when he bangs in two headers out of nowhere, it, it, Ronaldo is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. You know what I'm saying? You know, it caused it right here still, you know what I mean? Imagine um, Portugal's uh, produced some amazing, uh, uh, two goats, yeah? Eusebio and Ronaldo. Has England ever produced a goat? Oh my days. Uh, have they produced somebody where they could put on that ladder of goat? Nobody. Nobody. Eusebio, born in Mozambique. You know what I'm saying? He's the one of the GOATs, full stop. One of the GOATs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even Pelé go, who on earth is that you? Basically, he was the European Pelé. That's who he was measured to. That's how good he was. He should have won the World Cup in Portugal, but got skanked by England in the semi-finals. That's a whole other story, which, uh, you know what I mean, which uh, I don't want to go into so, so much, but basically got skanked and the, and the, and the fixture got moved to Wembley when it should have been at Everton, uh, at Goodison Park, at Everton's ground, where Portugal was based. And moving around them days weren't like moving around these days anyway. So yeah, it was a long, you know what I mean, the players were sore, you know what I mean? I mean, you go to Wembley for semi-final against the whole nation. That should have been at Goodison Park, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, it's history is history. It's done, it's done, you know what I'm saying? And England um, um, came to fame, you know, he's, he, he's there at that anyway. So, But that's me done, done talking about uh, Portugal. Um, obviously, Scotland-Ukraine game has been postponed to June because, you know, I was really sad what's going on in Ukraine. And, and I'll be honest with you, at first I'm like, yeah, my Ukrainian footballers, they're all outside of um, Ukraine right now and they could be coming to play the game. But, you know, when you really think about the emotion for Ukrainian sportsmen. I have to almost pay homage to their uh, boxers because their boxers just just tooled up, man. Straight tooled up in Kiev. I go, yo, Reggie, you know I take my country? Yo, the boxers over here where they just, yo, they catch the first submarine out the country, mate. You know what I'm saying? And sneak out the country and ended up in, in Guadalupe Guade, Guade or something, some, 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 some foreign place to keep out of trouble and keep myself fit for, for a purpose. But the reality show is that man stood up in a fight. And, you know, when I'm watching the Ukrainians in, in the news reports and, and looking in their faces, you know, it's terror. Absolutely terror. And, you know, when I see the footballers, like, uh, I believe, um, I saw an interview with um, Sevchenko and you can see in the eyes that he's been crying. Uh, y- Yamal, um, the guy Yamali and Cole um, from West Ham, I can't even say his name properly. I mean, he got um, the the the, uh, the guy at Man City as well, the Ukrainian left left back. Um, you can see in their faces; they're just stunned. But people are getting massacred right now. You know, so our hearts go out to them. But it also it happens to other to other teams as well. You know, um, there's other countries under on 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 the under this same pressure for for not only the past year or two for years. So my heart goes out go, go out to them. Hundred percent anyway. So yeah, where are we at to that? Let me say, let me just text him where he's at. Uh, let's have a look. Huh? But yeah, so, you know, definitely, um, uh, but definitely guys, you know, that you have to sleep in Ukraine there. Um, Sweden, um, let's have a look at what they're doing. Um, they had to beat Czech Republic. It, there was a bit of dodginess going on in that game, I must admit, and they've scraped through. Um, because there was a decision when they got, got disallowed for Czech Republic. And it was like, really? How's that? And it's like the begging for the for the game to be anyway. But either way, they got that young guy Isak. Uh can to make another comeback. You never know still either way. But a young Robin Qua Quasani, a young brother up front for, for them came off the bench, I believe, and he scored to put to put them through uh, you know what I mean, and you know uh it's sweet as them teams here, yeah, they just they always get to 
they're good enough to, 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 get, get, to get through. they got a small squad that can get them through to the quarters max. And then when they meet a big boy, big European team, they get slapped. Every single time these teams will rarely get past there. Only in USA, I can remember Sweden getting that, getting quite far in this anyway. So yeah, and then Shaka is 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 is, is, is Bale and Wales. Yeah, uh, how on earth is Bale? And and this may be a question uh, I'm going to pose out to 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 Anthony. Is like you know if we, when when Pogba performs well for country and rubbish for Man United, um, I'll be the first to 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 to, to, to groan and moan at him and I moan and let's say yo Pogba like yo. Yo, what a grand brethren, you know what I'm saying? But Bale gets praised in England for playing rubbish for Real Madrid and not getting picked and getting paid 500 G's a week. But then he gets praised or Papa gets cost off. What's going on, blood? But anyway. I'm not really impressed with that anyway, still, yeah. But either way, Wells has got through, um, and Wells is due to let me just make sure what the games are going to be. Wells going to wait to play either Scotland or Ukraine. Um, I'd be interested if Scotland get through, but I do think Ukraine will get through, and I think Wales has got a chance against either one. It's a very, very strong chance for Wales to get through to the World Cup, man. That'd be just absolutely incredible. It really is a golden generation for Wales, and you can see the, the fruits of success for Wales is that the youngsters have picked football as a sport, and they're all coming through talented Welsh players. Absolutely. And you could almost say it stems from the young gigs and the, and the young the Welsh players that just from since my, my childhood started Ian Rushes that started coming through and, and doing a thing and now you've seen the produce of almost the third generation it's just building up more and more players are going to play football than rugby in Wales um, but yeah I think they could do Scotland I don't think that's too much a problem for them but Ukraine you don't know what you're going to get that's going to be tough man and, and Ukraine's under a bit of emotional pressure so that's going to be interesting anyway so so hopefully that things get cleared up before that before that comes through uh also you've got um um poland versus sweden now that'd be very, very interesting that's two two um poland can Lewandowski drag their team into the world cup i think he can but sweden and not no mugs that's a tight one and Portugal from having one of the toughest fixture potentially having Italy. I got now Macedonia. Piece of cake, mate. Piece of cake, so to say. But yeah, so so that's the, that's that's the, that's the European drama anyway. So yeah, now um, international friendlies. We we don't want to go too much into that. South America, Brazil's just doing what they do best, man. They're just um, just turning their way through. Uh, um, their qualifier with their qualifiers. Let's go into this a bit more because I'm sure. Let me just see their group. Yeah, Brazil is top. Uh, let, me, let me check out their full table. So we, now we've got Brazil top, and I don't think they've lost a game. Nor has Argentina lost a game. Uh, Brazil's won 13 during draw three. Obviously, obviously, two have been with Argentina. Um, yeah, but the one, um, Argentina's one eleven. So uh, uh, Brazil's on forty two points. Argentina's on thirty eight points. And then usually, what tends to happen in this league? I remember back in the day, I never forget the Brazil's almost. They've entered. They've gone through to every World Cup. I remember one World Cup, the one that they won it. I believe it, USA. They almost didn't make it. It was that tight because of how strong the likes of Colombia was at the time. Um, who else was there? Argentina was strong and Brazil was just dragging their feet in Uruguay you know they were dealing with Brazil but Brazil come along and you know but just just do a bit of an Italian job and just be alright in the night type of flex anyway still yeah so there's that um so look and then you got Ecuador that'd be interesting how things turn out there with Ecuador um and Uruguay uh, Ecuador and Uruguay both are on 25 points uh and then Peru is on 21 points so uh and colombia man oh lord they left it too late i believe um ah oh, lord left it too late too late too late too late too late too late i believe i think it's the top four that's going through um and i think that maybe the fifth place gets a little playoff thing going on i believe so 
Um, so I think that um, I think even Chile could make it as well. Um, so it's all tight in there right now. Um, Chile couldn't afford to get battered by Brazil anyway, so we'll take that for free. Um, and um, and Colombia won three 0 uh, Paraguay come through, beat Ecuador three one. Ecuador don't, don't don't look that good, man. This is like, are you serious? Didn't really fancy them. And Uruguay beat Peru one love just to bring it up. But Uruguay they they they're, they're kind of tasty still. Ain't gonna be ain't gonna lie. They got some um, decent players there. But the question is, is South America really a strong? Um, division you know what i'm saying oh, i don't know about that still anyway so yeah um neymar do this thing and uh Vin- vinicius junior scored his first goal international goal for brazil i think he's a really really good player i, I think he's going to be a great player i don't think he's going to be a goatish player where you know um he 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 is a goat status with with the whole situation out there. So I, I don't think he's gonna he's gonna be that guy at all. I I I don't see it. I don't see it at all. He's gonna be that special player. Um, I I believe he's gonna be great, but I just don't think he's gonna be uh um that 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 guy. Uh, but he's going to be a great player for Brazil, a hundred percent. And and do I fancy Brazil for the World Cup? I, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. Argentina, Messi looking at the French league, you know, Messi ain't got nothing. You see, he's international football, he couldn't do it before, so what's going to do, how's he going to do it now? Brazil, yeah, I just don't, I just don't see this South American league, the South American qualifiers looking that strong right now. Not at all. Um, let's go to Asia. Is um, at our boys um, South Korea are they doing their job in, in, in this whole situation? Anyway, still yeah. Let's go to tables. Uh, uh, let me go to it. Hey, World Cup qualifying. Okay, so let's look at the quali- World Cup qualifying for Asia. Um, top of the, league, the groups, Iran and South Korea. That you have to say that Iran, as, as traditionally, is producing football, decent football teams, decent footballers come from Iran out there still anyway. So yeah, um, I cannot believe it. We, Australia's could be out of the World Cup, I believe, potentially. Um, you got Japan and Saudi Arabia. Um, and South Korea and Japan, they just usually clean up. But Australia went to Asia to to get to kind of make life easier, and it's kind of made life a bit harder for them still. You know what I mean? So that should be a that, that's that's an interesting one there. You know what I mean? Um, in terms of um, um, uh, in terms of um, Australia, Australia who should have a de- usually have traditionally decent players, uh, decent teams, um, decent decent so and so are struggling right now. Um, I don't know what's going what's going on with Australia there, but they're kind of struggling with that one anyway. So yeah, but um, but yeah, Iran, South Korea, Japan looks like it could be Saudi Arabia, and potentially I think Australia. But I think it's gonna be a playoff thing going on with Australia going on um, fighting for there. So that that's that's the um, Asia situation. Um, yeah, let's go to North America. Right, let me set this up better. Let me go to, uh, I believe it was Friday. Um, oh, no, 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 it's not Friday. It was Wednesday where Canada kind of tripped over themselves. Oh, where are we? Sorry, guys. I'm just making sure I want to get this Canada because the North, the the, the Concafa, um, the did amazingly for me um seeing what's happening there has really changed the narrative for international football in north america and it's something somebody's make make people making beelines for this uh uh this um this this south america uh situation uh this north america situation because for me um i, f- I do feel that Again, I always keep on saying that the MLS has produced, has helped support it, produce some amazing, amazing um, footballers. But you know, uh, uh, they haven't really come to come to come to the thing. But now, looking at um, looking at the um, the qualifier now, uh, yeah, um, yeah, the Canada got top. 
Yeah, I can't believe it. Saint Kitts was the top of the group back, back in the, the, we have these little groups anyway. So yeah, Saint Kitts was top of it. Just, just beginning up with Saint Kitts on that one. But anyway, but either way, so yeah, yeah, Canada is top of Canada because don't go wrong. Canada potentially could have the best player in that Alfonso Davis, but they've won it without Alfonso Davis. Um, and I think they really are uh, benefiting from the fact that basically a lot of um, African and Caribbean players um, are gone there when they're young, um, you know, just growing up there and, and they're really built on that cohort of, of love towards football because, you know, they've got the ice hockey fans and, you know, Oh, we can move as close to the poles as you want. Yeah, we ain't doing no ice hockey, mate. You know what I mean? And doing them cold skiing sports and whatever. We're gonna do what we do best, and that's football. So um, they've they've picked on the um, the descendants or the immigration, you know, of of, of Caribbean and African people, and they've combined an amazing team with 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 um, the traditional Euro European and different. You know, is one thing I realised is that you know my friend was saying me that it's you know but. That like Canada is a mix of ethnicities, and you know when you got that, you got the chance to build up something in football, and they've done that. They've always had a decent um, MLS squad as well. It's just like yo, they got some man. They got Montreal. Um, um, I believe it's Toronto as a top team, and I sure they won the MLS before um, recently. So they've got that natural support framework for it. Uh, plus they've got the coldest conditions to go playing so at home when it's cold they know they can beat anybody we've got nobody from down down in uh, uh, Mexico none of them Caribbean islands want to go that far north so they have that advantage <laughs> over everyone but just to go through with the, the league standing of uh, of, of North and uh, Central America's um, qualifiers you got Canada come top um, you got Mexico was 20 um, on 25 points uh, so USA even Mexico um, on same points as 25 then you got Costa Rica um, there as well with 22 points and you got Panama with 18 points um, yeah it's gonna be uh, very very interesting there still you know what I mean but either way you look you look like in, in the World Cup we're gonna see Canada USA and Mexico 100% um, I'm not too sure what who, who comes out of this um, situation with Costa Rica and Panama um Switzerland reached last 16 draw after yeah uh, yeah we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens out there but um uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna be um yeah we're gonna keep uh, we're, what we're gonna do is once the qualifiers almost come to the end we're gonna get a map out you know what we usually do when it comes to what we do for you you euros and stuff like that. so we're gonna get a map out and and, and 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 really really map out what's going on there now so we got that um yeah so so for me i have to get it didn't go like salute canada but the question is is, is why how did canada um how did canada ended up above uh usa uh and mexico two juggernauts now mexico you know i remember when i went to the west indies when i was 16 17 and you know in europe we don't really think too much don't pay mexico don't pay them no mind um and you know what guys you know you have to say uh mexico did a number uh, it has 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 but it just, everybody was rating them highly over there. They said that they're a proper team, they're a proper team, they're better than USA, they're a proper team, proper team. And they always kind of like physically, they got the techniques, but they just don't seem to be. It's almost, it's almost like a, a Peru, you know, they don't physically have the stature to handle big man football, but they techniques and you know what i mean but you, you play two big 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 european players and the big african players and they just forked under it but um mexico they are a decent system they've got great leagues um producing great players they've got they're exporting decent ballers in spain and different nations like that but the thing is um they're not, they're not doing it at the moment um usa i think they're upskilling 
they got a load of new talent and they're trying to train themselves how to play a new style of football and they really are turning these youngsters into a footballing nation so they're in transition and i think we need to watch out for the usa in the next two three years because they are trying to change their football into european footballing style now before there used to be that hurly burly approach to american blood and guts football but now at the moment i think they're going away and bringing them more technicality to it and more skills and more skills they have got the pace they have got the power i feel that they're, 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 they're a bit not so com- not as composed as the, as, as the european teams and we don't produce the i was say natural talent just that too many naturally gifted players where they just, they just got vision, they got eyes in the back of the head and whatsoever. And to do that, you've got to have really have the culture of uh, football, soccer, as they call it, in the system. And I think that USA needs to um, kind of fix up in that sort of area still when it comes to uh, um, to to the football there. I really do think they're going to... Um, um, but they're going to come through because they've got a couple of boys who are, who are replicating it. And again, they've got... They're now... Uh, there's a flood of... Um, um, of, of immigrants still flooding into the US I love the football that that are not playing for their home nations where they're from whether it's Venezuela Mexico or different things like that they're playing for the USA so the USA will move now with more infrastructure with the MLS I believe we're ready for when the World Cup I believe goes to the US as well and, and Canada and uh, Mexico I believe that's, I'm sure that's happening anyway so yeah but um that's where it's going so that will be very very interesting um to see how it goes from there man but that's the usa and how i feel about the us anyway so yeah but for kind of to be top it's really emotional and just watching the scenes after the games and julian hoyler and uh, some of the players who probably wouldn't even think they could even make it you know um the dare man you know and i, I, I remember seeing um, alfonso davis uses pace on some ballers to score a goal oh my goodness and the boy is fast it must be that's where my family must be from my Ghana you get me with my African side man trust me because the pace just natural man. absolutely natural pace from that brother man absolutely ridiculous but yeah that's a flex up there anyway still yeah and I think that um now 100% uh it's uh definitely all good there it's definitely all good let me just um come out of that uh right so we've got World Cup qualifying, yeah. So there's all, all there's, there's, there's that. Let me just go back to bring this up. I uh, want to make sure talking sense when I come back. Football guys, one second. Uh, March results. Okay, we need to get to the African nations as well. One second. <laughs> Africa. Okay, World Cup qualifiers. Africa. Right. So this this is being recorded before we get we get through to the um, the completion. Um, at the moment, um, Nigeria and Ghana's uh, joined nil nil. Senegal and Egypt. Is, uh, is Senegal is it losing to Egypt one nil? Now nah, that's going to be a bit of a tough one there. Um, we know Egypt really good at killing games Algeria is winning 1-0 over Cameroon Morocco and DR Congo are drawing 1-1 and Tunisia versus Mali and Mali is losing 1-0 there is a complete almost potentially the North African teams could actually get back the South the West African teams in one foul swoop it's it's poised so you've got it's funny nigeria and ghana west africa yeah that's gonna be someone's gonna come through there i think nigeria will but it's funny egypt obviously north versus uh west um and you've got um um you got senegal egypt yeah senegal obviously we don't find hmm. i think senegal will come through and win i think uh it will, it'll, it'll be a home win now you got Algeria versus Cameroon. Algeria's already winning one nil. I don't really rate too much Algeria. But saying that Cameroon's not all that. 
because they, I, I really, yeah, I think they really use the home advantage in the African Nations Cup. So I can, it's Algeria, but they're not really. Uh, nothing in them. But either way, you got the Morocco as well versus uh, DR Congo. Um, hopefully, DR Congo, Congo can do them, but Morocco will let it go through. And I think Tunisia will go through one up against Mali. But then Mali's got some great, talented uh, players, so you just never know. Uh, you got Kadir and them, um, uh, Basuma controlling me. I just think they're just too unpredictable up front. So it'll be just interesting to see these results and see how things. Um, and pan out from there but all these nations all 10 won their won their leagues so it's just like what the heck is going on you know what i'm saying so it's just like uh absolutely um yeah it's definitely a crazy one definitely crazy something to look into anyway and to and, and to really go to south go you know is this really the way where, where we want things to go forward anyway so yeah but this but this is me just checking things out and uh really take it from there anyway so yeah guys i, I do think that um uh yeah that's you know is it really fair for african nations look at the quality that they're producing only got five spots in the world cup yeah we'll 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 mind about that one day guys trust me well once we get when i got all this when i got everything in front of me we'll, we'll see right so that's african nation african african nations cup no that's african Af the african qualifiers we don't need south american north american we've gone through the european touched asia and i think new zealand's got a playoff with solomon islands and you know what's gonna happen now i'm not even gonna focus on that man you know new zealand's gonna bat bag them and uh, have to face a qualifier to see if they can do it you know what i'm saying chris wood can finally make a world cup in new zealand make another appearance i think they've been to the world cup before I see if they can make appearance in 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 in, 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 in another World Cup anyway. Still, yeah, but um, but yeah. So that's, that's all the qualifier stuff, international break stuff. Um, hoping that um, uh, things will go well for Portugal. Um, again, I give me my hopes there. Um, just want to touch base a bit about the friendlies and what insights we've learned from the friendlies. Holland look tasty. Um, Ericsson, oh, amazing man absolutely amazing um that's emotional his first touch the top bins um <laughs> whoa nothing you can say Denmark's good and Denmark is winning right now as we speak uh as well um uh, yeah that team I believe in the World Cup as well and um that team's gonna be um a problem a decent problem you know what i mean holland I, I, um definitely gonna be a problem rating what, what they're doing down in holland and how they, how they're approaching stuff in, um in holland there i think that um definitely um that's something that where, where I, I believe that you know we we need to be um, um definitely eyes out there still yeah i just really worry about the striking options but they've got a lot of non-strikers uh, who can hit bang goals i.e. the pie and so on so it'll be interesting to see how they do well but they've got germany so that'd be interesting friendly uh before i'm just recording this just before the germany game so that'd be very 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 interesting there still yeah but uh but yeah so that's gonna be um looking at friends england friendly just prove that england <sighs> it's just got a problem the players that really got england to the success of the euros i.e my nice players i'm just not doing it just not doing it people not doing it for me <sighs> so it's like guys you know you know what we're gonna do what we're gonna do you know what i'm saying so they're not doing it for me at all you know what i mean none of them are you know what I mean? So, um, um, Maguire's, Luke Shaw's, Luke Shaw might have scored, but he's just looking terrible. Um, Rashford, oh my goodness sake. Hey, you know what I mean? Sancho, he should be in the squad. Like, but, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, so that's the flex day anyway, still, yeah, guys. Um, right, so we've got 
20 um, 20 minutes to go of the show uh what we're gonna we're, we're gonna shall I do some more transfer talk uh right let's have a look at the transfer talk and deals that um right so transfer talk wise yeah at the moment guys you know there's a lot of there's the free transfer market which is going to which is causing which is going to be causing a major problem um um coming up in the in the, in the transfer situation um you got like you know let me just start to touch base with some of these foot, uh, footballers that be out there already we, we all know about rudiger you know um you've got likes of christensen and kessie are in talks i think already with with with, with uh, barcelona we know about mbeppe uh but where's the baller going from juventus 29 years old i think he's a really really good baller to be honest if i was psg this is a bustle sort of ball you need to be getting in and getting rid of messi that's what i would say 100% do that do something like that still you know what I mean so um um definitely that should be interesting who else is going to be going for free which we need to be keep an eye on everyone's talking about Harlem but he's not going for free um Pogba you can have him anybody wants him you can have him um Bale is going for free at the end of the season and um, that should be an interesting one um who else is going for free the back of players going for freeze oh lord i can't believe it's all kind of my mind right now still yeah uh, but i know there's a number of um guys at chelsea who are going to be available for free that should have been negotiated of contracts but they haven't done man united we got a bit of a clear out of guys as well to to happen for this situation but for me that's a good one by barca with christensen and kessie that means rudiger's not going to barca so where's really going to be going we don't know he could stay in the premiership we'll see you know what I mean? I think Lewandowski is not going to be going for a free transfer this end of this season, but the next season he's potentially going to do that. So let's see what Lewandowski gets, how he get, they get treated by, by Bayern Munich. Or is he going to go for a new a new challenge? Maybe at PSG, you don't know. It's the way it goes, but everybody's t- the big talk is Mbappe, you know what I mean, um, out there. But I must say, you know, talking about transfers anyway, so yeah, I just think this Nkuku guy who's playing for RB Leipzig is a play, plays for France at the moment. Um, I think he's a player that needs to be looked at um, by, by, by people because I, I do think he's got the potential to do some great, real great things. And I think that we need to uh, keep an eye on that young man um there's him um where is he gonna be going <laughs> ronaldo <laughs> yeah that he ain't going for no free transfer trust me even if he gets for a free transfer somebody has to pay some stupid wages for that guy anyway still yeah but yeah so there's good so this is not so not equates a real 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 problem for me um who do i want to see at man united i don't know um you saw the other day when he came to um uh van Aal, oh, in, there's no bitter you know bittersweet relationship that we have with van Aal. I, think, I think he's all right at man united um obviously he's saying that the, the club is too commercial for vent for entire um to to um that they're all kind of like wanting to be at man united for him to be there but you know it's called mate just chill man you know what i mean absolutely chill don't worry about don't worry about man united mate you know end of the day still yeah can ten Hag, yeah eric ten Hag, do a job at old trafford i think everyone's pointed to him potch has let himself down went for the wrong club i think we've let ourselves down Keep going for um, pursuing and um, keeping so- Oli when we should have really pursued Pochettino. I think we missed the opportunity there. I'm not saying Pochettino is the best manager in the world, but I felt like that time he would have had even that same time with Oli that he's Oli had. I think he would have done a lot more and a lot better. People complain about the management at Man United. Uh, you know, how can you complain about um, the owners when they spend um, um, a billion? And arguably it's not their money but they're allowed to spend a billion over a 10 year period that's a lot of money you know you can say we make a load of money i hear you, but it's still a lot of money so uh we've we've more we've, we've more we messed up that's why i'm glad it's more to do with a change of of the hierarchy at man united because it allows us to 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 
to see if he's now he, the, the part the, he, people don't, I don't think people realize how important is the guy upstairs or, you know is to the growth and development of the club hence why Man City started to get there you know when they're buying him with Beanios of the world and all them guys back in the day there's all over the place there buy him buy him buy him buy him but when you have a good four, footballing director and they get the right players in you start to build some of your system so hopefully we're getting that at Man United I don't know how good a job Dan, Dan Fletcher can do but hopefully we get the ability to do that with these, with these clubs anyway still yeah marching forward Let's see if there's any more um, saga going on with the transfer uh, situation. There's a couple of decent b- b- ballers out there, but uh, yeah, the, the the situation when it comes to to, to good footballers, it's, it's it's really about you know. I mean, for me, um, you know, can they fit? They will fit what you're trying to do. Christiansen's is is you know what. I, I called it man he had to leave Chelsea Chelsea would disrespected the man enough times and I think disrespected um, um, uh, Rudiger as well there's times when they wouldn't play him managers but just wouldn't play them both so they got to go it'd be interesting to see what happens with Chelsea at the end of the season um, with those sanctions and everything from Roman Rambage and I can't believe man the man them almost killed Roman you know man man got poisoned jeez trying to sort this thing out anyway so yeah but um interesting thing is barcelona um is targeting leads his winger rafinha going to barcelona now what happens to Traore there <sighs> and that means dembele gone anyway so who's gonna get dembele he's off for free transfer Ooh, problem but second if it looks like they are keen on keeping in trial even though he's on loan i think you just give him give him a thing but they're not they're not going to get nah they're not in for um, um harland there's all about talk about they're getting harland but i think if they get with fenia they're gonna have a lot, lot of forwards that that can that can work off off the thing but i don't think they're gonna get harland i don't think that's a, that's an option for them anyway still yeah i don't think they got they got the finances for that and harland will be absolutely decimated if he goes to man city absolutely it'd be like the oh lord it would be like playing against Harry Kane every for goodness sake you know what I mean like a proper young version of Harry Kane five years ago and the smashing goal after goal because they just sit, sit up for him on the plate simple thing you know and I think that's what they missed this season they could have gone in for him I feel belief man whole lack, lack of, uh, but it's never bothered and and, and apparently it was not about getting my Ronaldo but let's be real Ronaldo was really getting there anyway still yeah yes to be honest with that one he's definitely not going going there anyway so yeah but you know moving forward that's def- definitely 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 uh, something to to keep your eye on let me see right so we're coming down nicely right if you feel about hearing my voice i apologize uh this week i'll be doing a bit of solo thing going on let's see what else is going on with the news um um well the, one of the big news is what's gonna happen to Ronaldo and then this season is Ronaldo the question is is Ronaldo fit enough to play for Man United um, um in going into next season he scored 18 goals this season so far as I'm concerned um he's did it is a decent return maybe for that money you're thinking now I want more than that you know what I'm saying but why right by now if we didn't have Ronaldo where would we be where would we be you know what I'm saying you know um that's that, that's a and if we'll talk where would we be you know what i'm saying so um let's hope he 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 i'm not saying we'll stay next if if, if man united was to get rid of an other guys think about it <sighs> we'd have to be in two top strikers because kavani has gone so we'll get rid of Cavani, and we've got to get rid of Martial as well so we've got them three people going out and everyone reckons Rashford will go to Arsenal uh, or something like that still yeah he's not even he doesn't even play the way Arsenal wants to play um I mean Rashford, Rashford needs just reset and to to to, to gain get his ability everyone says he needs to leave the club to get better nah not at all not at all yeah man so guys you know the transfers are, are the transfer market and oh boy this is how we kind of work it anyway so yeah but listen guys as we're coming down man let's have a look a bit of the um f1 situation Ooh, let's go to f1 
So guys, gonna make sure like, I'm, I'm try, uh, quite accurate with the um, information that I kind of uh, put out there. Let's go to home, go back. Let's go to F1, all sports, Formula One. Yeah, guys, Formula One standings right now. The Ferrari, one, two. Is this the Ferrari's back? Are they back? The De La Creme, the De La Creme of De La Creme is back. You know, notice the comeback when the rules change and, you know, they seem to always be ready for when they, it's like they made the rules to suit themselves because they've been struggling all this time. Maybe that, maybe so. I don't know anyway. So, yeah, but yeah, uh, uh, they're back, they're back, they're back, they're back, they're back. Van Stapp, uh, then, then you've got uh, uh, Max uh, Verstappen, you know, um, um, and you got Mercedes fourth and fifth after that. So, um, uh, uh, and that's Hamilton. Um, it's going to be very, very interesting. Um, Feature for Mercedes, their car is um, not terrible, but it's not the greatest. Uh, you got decent drivers there, they try to work out what needs to happen. So, Hamilton's going to be over the next four or five races, going to be struggling by the sounds of things. Um, and the changes they got all these new rules in place, and whatever. So, they're going to be careful how they spend on the car, how they develop the car. Yeah, but so, so guys, you know, um, just a quick technical issue there. So, sorry, I had to just flip, come back in. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so you know, looking at you know, to be honest, the um, F1 situation is like absolutely crazy. So you know, it's going to take a while for you know, what I mean, the Mercedes to really get into this, uh, we get back into this. And um, looking at constructions, you know, uh, Ferrari is way ahead of everybody else. Uh, Mercedes, Red, Red Bull. So this is going to be a very interesting season. I think this is what the excitement is from the end of last season. You know, and as we know that Hamilton got robbed on the last day. I know. The UK were happy about it, you know. Um, they're still, as uh, far as concerned, don't treat Hamilton how they should be treated. Should be treated, should be should have been treated, you know. But that's a whole other subject like that. So, you know, and again, I can bring the guys and talk about that one. So, in terms of F1, that is, it, you know, it's going to be very, very interesting season when it comes to that you know um, um and, uh, you know so for me um who do i expect to know f1 i'm not really an f1 f fan but i must admit um i was when i was younger my dad used to sit down there and see the cars go new 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 so uh, you know there was a lot of i've got a love for f1 we just got boring static and you know the top cars just blew away the, the, the bomb cars or whatever so i think this is what they're trying to do is attract people like myself who who don't mind watching f1 and whatever that's all yeah uh but just can't be dealing with the um the longness um really fantastic what they're doing on youtube in terms of the highlights and, and explaining things to people about the rules and yes they're bringing that corporation and if one thing you have to give america the um it's been taken over by american ownership you have to rate americans they know how to make sport sport and make people interested in sport that's what they do best but they're on that and they made sport into multi-million pound businesses that where their sportsmen have always been paid way more their basketball has always been paid way more than footballers it's only just now the likes of messi and ronaldo are slowly uh, catching up with the top ballers and he's still got michael jordan on the top you know of everybody else so you know they just know how to generate finance through sports you know so it'll be interesting to see the future of f1 people start wearing all these f1 clothes and different things like that and garments and tops and ferraris you know what i mean and then they're trying it but no he's gonna wear a ferrari jacket you know it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of a tough one anyway still guys you know when it comes to uh uh, uh when it comes to um uh, uh f1 anyway so yeah but going back to let's see whatever there was another sport i wanted to talk about basketball 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 guys because you know what guys you know um we've got a problem here <sighs> right well first of all you know it's great to to see irving um get allowed back in because of the of the rules that are in america um uh, irving kyrie Irving, one of, the, one of the one of the top scorers of all time um struggled massively struggled uh, because um um the covid rules wouldn't let him play because um, in new york um you can't play in new york and he's playing in away games now the rules are changed and um i heard he had a bit of a bad 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 start anyway still yeah but uh vet, you know but either way um that's looking um, um nice for the uh, brooklyn nets um can brooklyn nets win the um 
the playoffs. I think it's looking like um, people are talking about Suns and and all that business and in, in, in whatsoever. You know, so um, um, that's the that's the flex there. So you know, so it, we, we have to see see where it going. But looking at the um, let's look at the tables. Um, right, so you've got in the um, let's have a look at the um, where it is. You know they got the conference state, but they, oh lord! You see they set up things that are wrong in the BBC, yeah. Trust the BBC to set this thing up wrong. That's not the setup. Really. What should be happening, guys? Basically, Lakers are in trouble, guys. Lakers are in so much trouble that they're relying so much on the goat, LeBron James. It's unreal. So much, guys, is is taking the mic. You're absolutely taking my. Do I think that LeBron James will do a number um, on? Um, and everybody i don't know i don't know i don't know about i don't know if he can do it this season i do not know he just waits it's like he's wasted his, his season it's like a waste of season for him um for me um for for lebron james but let me look at the real thing Bob. oh my goodness sake this is just this really but looking bad anyway still yeah for um let's go to western conference <sighs> lakers are 10th guys <laughs> the 10th listen lebron's got 39 points against um the pelican and they couldn't still beat them the rest of the team is just terrible coach is terrible everything to do is they're terrible but the joke is anti davis comes back and they get their rhythm going and what so yeah they can cause trouble but this is this is terrible guys absolutely and they might have to go into the play in against spurs are, are you for real you know um so for me um not impressed not happy um, um so so you know um, um that's the situation when it comes to um, um lakers the lakers are like the man united you know um they won a the title a couple of seasons back you know what i mean and um but the, with this guy called westwood he, he's struggling under pressure the master complaints about him every you know what guys youtube channels are based off literally all they chat about is how rubbish Westwood is and how good um they're all battling if if, if LeBron James is the is the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Um he's uh, passing scoring records like crazy. Um he's still got another good two seasons left in him. He just needs a better supporting as cast because he can't just do it by himself anymore. Um, you know, and Lakers haven't provided this season. So there's a lot of work that needs to be happening in the I think the next closed season um for uh where they get the uh, plays and whatsoever it's gonna be crucial for lakers to even if lebron james is gonna even win anything with them still yeah does he has to go to brooklyn <laughs> he has to go to brooklyn to, to, to win something you know what i mean something like that still yeah or go to uh golden state to win something that'd be quite funny still you know what i mean but um yeah so golden state was was was, was, was doing a thing you know but um Again, Lakers done the dance, man. You know, um, LeBron James absolutely, m he absolutely, m he scored. Um, I believe almost uh, he got sixty over sixty points against them. So it's just like, what the hell is going on there still? Yeah, but for me, again, I'm a LeBron James fan. I, I'm not a basketball expert, but I just love his vibe compared to I loved Michael Jordan, uh, um, so self centered focus. But no, not really too at all you know what i'm saying so i have to go with lebron um and and, and it's just continually breaking records and let's see what he where he ends up i know that's the biggest debate out there people will be fighting over that one and i think that's youtube channels are built on that you know what i mean that conversation every every week talking about lebron james being a go being the goat you know what i'm saying and and that you have to salute the guys and it's just great to see black excellence in that sport and it's good to see uh uh and, and do it in a great way anyway so yeah a fantastic way i do see on here um on the report here something i mentioned before in the show uh, we're talking about the, uh, the, the 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 women's nba uh player uh britney griner who's been detained in in in, in russia i heard um she's in good she's in good being treated well um <laughs> <laughs> however you call that um but she's been treated well um and, and 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 hopefully uh she could be facing a sentence of up to 10 years if convicted <sighs> people 
as I said, I always had my opinion, but said about that. I just hope to. Oh, it, the end of the day, so yeah, if she knows the rules, she knows the rules. What was she doing with cannabis oil in 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 in, in her luggage? Really, sis? <sighs> if she got set up, I hopefully the truth will come out. But she's facing up to ten years, man. Why, why? Just not worth it, people. If it's true, sis, it's embarrassing. She be embarrassing yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way it works out today, still yeah. But listen, guys, yo, this is Roger on the Phoenix Extra, celebrated gospel music of Black Origin. Yo, I had to just quickly do a quick little chat today. I'm by myself today, guys, so hopefully you could stick it out with me. I don't even know what to call today's show. Well, it's what it, what it is anyway, so yeah. But listen, thanks for coming through this journey with me today. Um, I, want to, I want to link up with one of the guys, but sometimes, guys, I'm just going to just gonna do it, just talk my talk and whatever. And this is the Roger Van Marino show. And this is Roger Van Marino. Uh, Roger and out. This is how we do it. On a finny texture, nothing, nothing but love to everyone out there. If you got any questions out there, feel no way. If you want any comments, put in the YouTube channel 100%. Do follow, do like, and subscribe. Do everything you do and support the cause, people. Nothing but love. Thanks for watching this content. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also listen to Affinity Extra 24-7 at affinityextra.com. Don't forget to follow us as well on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at forward slash Affinity Extra. If you wish to support us or if you want supporting as an artist, go to our Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash Affinity Extra. And don't forget to be 